welcome to my all of students and today i will discuss about general characteristic features of phylum echidonarmata let's go start it echidonarms generally diploblastic true coelomate and exclusively mar marine animals diploblastic mean they have three different layers such as ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm the body is unique shaped it can be star shaped elongated or spherical shaped body is unsegmented without head and have tube feet for locomotion there is no visible head in case of echinodermata and the locomotion organ is tube feet body surface covered with calcareous spicules the spicules is made up of with cso3 or calcium carbonate and body cavity has well developed water vascular system keep this in your mind this is the more important point for or more important characteristic feature of echinodermata respiration occurs through tube feet and gill the respiration accomplished by tube feet and gill there is pore developed sense organ which is include with tactile organs chemoreceptors and terminal tentacles sex are separate meaning the male and female specimen are different and there is external fertilization meaning that a fertilization accomplished outside of the outside body of the specimen lost part can be regenerated meaning that suppose there is tissue injury or tissue damage in a organ of a organism so after few days there will be new tissue growth by the help of regeneration power the suitable example of echinodermata is asterias or sister echinas or sea urchin and cucumeria or sea cucumber Thank you so much.